it has a, a decent a little sound to it give you guys a couple revs here it's back it's back baby the 1100 is back all fixed up got some new meat on her all right What's going on guys welcome back to the channel i am on my way right now to rick rouse to deal with this problem as you guys know i lost a fairing on the highway on the repsol bike the guys today came and picked me up that's tay we got chris we got tj in the back right there we're on our way to rick rouse motorsports uh gotta hurry up a little bit here because they do close today on fridays at six o'clock it's about 5 20 right now so that's what we're doing right now on the way to Rick Roush Motorsports hopefully they agree with my situation and see what they can do about getting me a new fairing but as you guys do know I did also purchase a fairing off of eBay so I do have another fairing for this bike already just in case this doesn't go smooth or good and if they say no and they're not going to give me another fairing or do anything to lower that $500 ridiculous price then I'm just going to chalk it up guys and go with the eBay fairing and say it is what it is um, but I really don't want this to happen again especially this being a new bike like you guys know I've only ridden the bike maybe about eight good times and then three times on the highway like I'll say it again I rode it once in that snowstorm bringing it home the day I bought it or the day after I bought it because they had it and the guy told or the guy told me uh, that everything was good on the bike and they checked over everything which is why they kept it overnight to check go over everything and check it over and make sure everything was good uh, and I took the bike the next afternoon and the third time on the highway taking this bike on the highway the fairing flies off so it was once coming or once bringing the bike home in that uh, storm once going to work and back home and then the third time when I was riding with the guys and it just flew off at 130 miles an hour so the, my salesman himself Brian uh, actually said that was unheard of and that he's never heard that happen before so that was a surprise to him too that doesn't ha this something like this doesn't really just happen especially with a new bike and just getting it and which is going to be my argument once i get here like i just got this bike haven't even ridden it much and a fairing flies off like that something's wrong so we'll see guys just want to update you guys and let you know i'm on my way to rick roush so i'll see you guys there
going on guys welcome back to the channel this will be a kind of part two to my video uh i won't make it two separate days but i'll probably just edit this part into the existing video but as you can see right now i'm back on the cbr 1000 and it's still missing the right fairing um i got tay with me today for the second part to this i went to rick rouse yesterday and the manager scott was not there it was his off day and i was told that he was going to be here today from uh 10 o'clock until four o'clock so i'm on my way up there right now back to rick rouse motorsports to speak with him to see what we can do about this fairing and like i said yesterday um which will be a couple seconds before you're hearing this part of the video but i'm basically gonna see uh, if they can give me a new fairing and if he says he still has to charge me $500 for the new fairing for this bike then I'm basically just going to chalk it up and say or not basically say just chalk it up and put the eBay fairing on it that I got yesterday so I got it three days ago I got the eBay fairing three days ago in the mail uh, that video should be up by now so Make sure you guys watch that. Uh, it does have a couple scratches on it, like I said in the video. But it's pretty much the same fairing. Uh, it just doesn't have the black uh, sticker right here or the RCV sticker. So hopefully it still looks good. So me and Tay are about to ride up to Rick, Motor Rick Rouse Motorsports. So I'll give you guys a wheelie here real quick before I cut it off. We got a one bouncer in. Alright guys, I'll see you guys at Rick Rush. I just I just crazy. take this so screws, I can get it here. In. It's just a lot of the plastics is broke off. A lot of some of the screws are still bolted in. Not a, some kind of little catch tank for some fluids. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, just drain on the bottom. Oh, I see. It drains out your uh, this part. Yeah, yeah. He'll be here. Did this get tore up? Do you want to take a picture so whenever so he can send If I need one, I can call you and you can send me one. Yeah, right? Okay. okay. Just yeah. with your phone or something. Yeah. But I don't see, I mean, it's, it is what it is. The whole piece came from. It's one piece. Yeah. So he should be expecting a car like Monday sometime. Yeah, yeah. He usually gets here around 1130. We have a, every Monday we have a meeting. I'm here till eight. If if I get busy and you don't hear from me, don't be afraid to call me. I'm here all day. Gotcha. Uh, so, all right. All right. Long as I, your last name? All right. What's going on, guys? I am back. I just left Rick Roush. Spoke with Scott, the manager, and he was somewhat, or pretty much, in awe about something that or what basically with this situation and what happened and what I explained to him uh, but he was really nice about it uh, we talked for a little while for about a good eight minutes and he said he was going to talk to his boss now about the situation and what we are going to do and he said he was going to call me within the next couple days so I will keep you guys updated on the situation and see what they are going to do for me and about the situation so that's it guys for now thank you guys for watching 
uh, I'm probably gonna make another video for you guys today once we me and Tay link up with the rest of the crew so after that I'll see you guys in the next one take care have a good rest of your day subscribe to the channel peace have you ever felt are you listening damn